What do you do with the sands of time? When they carve out lines around your eyes You can close your fist up good and tight But you can't hold back the sands of time Songwriting is excruciating. It's difficult. I mean, it's just, just it's awful. But writing a song down is easy. You know, I think the goal in, in art, you know, if we, again, we look at the big picture, our desire is to make you care. So I want to make you care about something. And I want to transfer what I'm feeling, and I want you to, 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 to feel it. You know, the, the power of metaphor in, in music is just, you know, it's just, it's very profound. Because um, I think what happens with metaphor is that somehow or another, that's where the traction becomes. That's where the audience becomes engaged at the metaphor. You know, songs are, I mean, there they, they really is a, a structure to songs. Songs are, you know, there's an introduction, there's a verse or two, and a chorus, another verse, sometimes a bridge, and then the last chorus. The verses generally, you know, have the detail. The verses are usually the what in the song. You know, they, they, they say that the more specific and the more detail, the more adjectives and adverbs that you have in your verses, uh, the more universal it becomes. Touch, taste, smell, sight, sound, and, and body motion. You want to try to infuse the senses into your, into your lyric writing. Well, that's what I'm talking about, sense bound writing. So as songwriters, what we want to try to do is get ourselves in a position where we can experience these many movies in our mind. And what I mean by that is once you've experienced something in your mind or either on paper, then writing it down is much, much easier. Oh, What do you do with the sands of time? When they carve them 